Hey, what's up guys? It's Limo here. Welcome back to the channel, man. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how the new generation of Call of Duty players are going to take over not only the game as a regular player base, but also the content and streaming world. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We upload and stream here on YouTube every single day. Let's get right into the video. So I'm going to be honest. I've already experienced a new generation of players come into a game that I was already in and dominate and take over. That happened with Fortnite when I started playing in 2017 and around 2020, 2021, all of the six to seven year olds who were able to actually play tournaments and all that stuff and got PCs and or got really good, started taking over streaming content, the competitive scene and the community as a whole, which is a good thing. But I don't think I've ever seen Call of Duty ever have that before. Like obviously there's been new content creators and streamers, but I haven't seen a new generation of Call of Duty players that are under like 21, 20 years old take over yet. And I feel like that's going to happen soon. And you might be wondering, how is this going to happen? Why is this going to happen? And when is this going to happen? Well, it's not like a set thing that's going to happen, but a lot of the players from like Fortnite and like all these other battle royale games that have been playing it since they were little kids and or little teenagers, like 12, 13 years old, they're all starting to get older. They're all starting to get jobs and or get paid from what they're doing. And a lot of them are getting bored of said game. Like a lot of Fortnite pros are switching over to Call of Duty and or Exify. That happened a lot, right? And now with Black Ops 6 and the fact that there is a bigger skill gap in movement and aim, especially for controller and keyboard and mouse, I feel like the people, the pros, the streamers and content creators that are bored of games like Fortnite, Apex Legends, X Defiant, and other games that have been playing those games for years are all going to get bored and switch over to Call of Duty. Because I'm going to be honest, Call of Duty is a very simple game on paper. All you have to do is move, aim, and shoot. That's literally it. And you have to play objective. That's literally all Call of Duty is. When you really get into the community and get into the game and you're playing it every single day and trying to get better, the game just expands because now you have to learn about rotational aim assist, now omni movement, game sense, map sense, all that stuff. And I feel like for a lot of these pro players, a lot of these really good content creators that are good at Fortnite, that are good at other video games and they've been playing them for years, I feel like this new generation of COD players are going to be much younger right? I feel like because it's not as hard as the old games that they used to play and grind, they're just going to enjoy Call of Duty a lot more and they're going to stick with it because it's an easier and more fun game and it's something new. I think this is going to happen within the next three to five years where we're going to see a lot of former either Valorant pros and or Fortnite pros and the pros from other games that grew up on those games that were like, you know, nine years old. And then when they were able to compete 13 years old and all stuff, like we're going to see a lot of competitive players from different games and a lot of different content creators from a lot of different games and genres switch over to call of duty i feel like and there's going to be a new wave of content creators and streamers that are a lot younger than what we're used to right now where it's a bunch of like 20 year olds mid 20 year olds some 30 year olds there or their early 30s and you have people like me where i'm like 19 20 21 18 that are just creating content right and i feel like i'm going to see a lot more people either younger than me and or at 18 19 years old within the next three to five years where they're making call of duty content where either they're the pro player and or they are the top streamer or content creator for call of duty man because i'm going to be honest pcs now are becoming like the normal thing for gaming i'm not even joking like i feel like a lot of more games that have been getting released recently especially in the past four years have been made specifically for a specific console but also made for pcs as well they're not just porting games back and forth now like they used to seven, 10 years ago before 2020 and before the whole entire PC blow up, right? They are literally making most of these games dedicated for PC and like another console. But yeah, like I'm expecting a new generation of Call of Duty players who have been playing since they were under 13 and or just started playing as a teenager, bro. Because man, a lot of players now in video games, especially in a game that's as competitive as Call of Duty and or is as popular as Call of Duty, they have a lot of young, competitive, good players that are really smart. And I feel like we're going to see more of those new players come in that are just a lot younger, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. I would not be surprised if there is a new Scump or a new Nade Shot, new Crim 6, and or a new generation of Call of Duty players that have their own legacy that I want to say goes over Scump, Nade Shots, and other Call of Duty pros and or streamers and content creators. But like, they're going to be so good at such a young age is what I'm trying to say. And I'm kind of expecting it to happen within the next three to five years because with how regular PCs are becoming and how much of a standard they are in gaming and the fact that they're able to stream and create videos from a PC and the fact that 
a lot of gamers are a lot younger and they're becoming a lot smarter in games a lot quicker now it's insane and and i'm just excited to see what happens in a competitive sense in a content and streaming sense for call of duty when there is new players right that started playing either last year two years ago three years ago during warzone warzone one warzone two that are starting to learn the game that's finally get pcs and they're just really young what i'm trying to get at is that the new Call of Duty player is not going to be some random 18, 19 year old. And I think the skill level is going to rise up a lot faster and quicker with the next coming Call of Duties. And the good players are going to be a lot younger players, man, because I've seen it with Fortnite, bro, because for Fortnite, it was a bunch of people in their 20s, 25s, 30s dominating the game. And then like certain things happen, changes happened, And a lot of the kids learned all the mechanics that all these good players were using and they just went more and more into getting competitive and getting better at that game so i feel like with call of duty if they keep the skill gap if it keeps getting popular and more popular the fact that these younger pro competitive content creators or streamers and pro players get bored of fortnite and or games like that like battle royales and they switch over i feel like we're going to see a lot more good players at a younger age which is going to be insane to even think about and or see but yeah if you've been playing call of duty for more than five years now i don't think a lot's going to change for you but like if you've been playing call of duty for 12 13 14 years right and like you're getting old and you're not having fun like i feel like a lot of people are going to quit that have been playing call of duty since the first call of duty or since cod 4 and or since the original modern warfare like i feel like a lot of call of duty players that we see now and or that play the game right now and or make content or are pros are going to quit within the next three to five years because of the new generational skill that the new gen has and it's going to be interesting to see like what kind of content is made what the community is like the standards the views the discussion is going to be made because bro even in the fortnite community bro it's insane what these fucking kids are talking about i've seen people scam each other i've seen people start their own organizations at like 16 17 and some of them have expanded into social media agencies before some of them have been sold and bought by other bigger investors and all that stuff trying to get into esports i've seen it all from a bunch of idiots i'm not gonna lie like into the fortnite community we were all idiots who just played the game and just talked about our opinions online and just met each other through twitter through youtube through twitch that's literally it but yeah like i'm excited to see what actually becomes of the call of duty community when all these fortnite players that have been playing the game for seven years six years now and or more are all switching over to a new game and i'm going to be honest with how popular call of duty has been getting these last couple of years and how much of a reach call of duty content has and the player base has i feel like we're going to see a lot of new players that a lot of of the current players right now and the community won't like but they're going to obviously switch and adapt to man but i'm excited i'm excited to see i'm just excited to see what the hell the community is going to do when they have this influx of new players that have been playing games like Fortnite, Apex Legends, Battle Royale games, and or games that take a lot of like hand-eye coordination and just like eye-to-eye, -eye, whatever the word is, the eye-to-eye -eye coordination, all that stuff, right? And they're actually genuinely good at video games and they just pick up Call of Duty and they're already like one of the best players in the world because dude, oh, it's just, it, it's just crazy to see because as an esports kind of person, the fact that the age gap between players and how good people are at certain ages has slowly gone down because before like you would have to be like 18 20 to be good at a certain game but now you see 13 14 year olds 15 year olds who just non-stop grind one game and they become pros at it dude it's just insane bro and like i feel like for call of duty the fact that it's a new game every single year and at least there's one change to the mechanic and or the system that's in play which is the gameplay i feel like it's just repetitive where you want to just keep learning and relearning right but it's going to be interesting to see to come back to this video in like three to five years and see what the landscape of the call of duty community is because dude even for some call of duty content creators they may not be doing this within the next three to five years ten years and all that stuff they might be moving on to the next big game and or something else where they get an actual job and or they're helping other content creators behind the scenes like oh my god man just gaming in general the gaming landscape esports all that stuff is being accelerated right now because of the amount of young players that are actually becoming pros and making this a career already, man. I, I don't even know what to say. Just know for the Call of Duty community, we will be affected and it's going to be interesting to see how the community changes and what it turns into and what kind of players stay and what kind of players leave. But yeah, it's been your boy Limbo. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. If you guys are new, please subscribe and I love y'all. Peace.